Oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode two of the Crack Cast. You know what we're doing today? Oh. Today, we are starting it off with our little challenge first to make it to hell in Terraria. This is hardcore characters, normal world, tiny size. Uh, go. True. All right, we got until nighttime. By the time nighttime comes, we have to be underground, and we can't come back above ground after that. So you better get all your goodies before nighttime comes. Ooh, all right. So I'm gonna start off. Um, I'm playing as my character, my main man, Bad Tan. I'm playing as a uh, Caitlyn's got a dick. So, <clears throat> that's a. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some wood here. I'm a yeah. Wood is perfect. Maybe wood I'll make is... armor out of it. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe I guess if Actually, you're into I'll, that kind of stuff. I wanna see if I can find some chests like right away. Cause that will help. So hell, since we're playing on a small help. world, it should be extremely quick to get to it. True. Small worlds are small, er, like penises. Uh, and the smaller horizontally and vertically, so that's a good, good thing. Uh oh, I'm already in the crimson. Is that world corruption? Or is that world crimson? I think you know it's. Yeah. You know it's crimson. Never get a corruption. I always get a corruption. Just kidding. Hey, how you doing, slime? So I'm gonna beat the shit out of slime really quick. Oh, you you don't even have to. Oh, I didn't even know that. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Uh oh. All right, I almost died, but smarter than that. Smarter than that. Hello, scorpion. Bye bye, scorpion. Alright, there's a vulture here. I don't really want to fight it, but he's got <gasps> a cactus. Oh my god, yo-yos are so OP. Why are they so good? I wish I could make a yo-yo. Alright, I'm going I'm going into a cave. I don't know which one's which. Which one I... Which one isn't going to be a dead end, I mean. I'm in a cave. I found a chest. It's an aglet. I'll take it. Oh my god, I have a fuck ton of potions. Alright. I'm going to see if I can, like... I don't even know what I want to do. You have a tiny advantage over me just because I'm in the fucking sand place. Rip. Oh man, we gotta watch out for traps. Oh I'm yeah, I forgot about that. But I was on top of the boulder, so I'm good. That's good. All right, I'm gonna get this emerald because maybe this will. Oh, in. that was close. <laughs> I'm one? playing risky right now. I'm pretty fine right now. I'm just scared of falling. And Whoa! Traps. <gasps> oh, one of those gold droppers just spawned what the fuck gold droppers yeah that golden uh circle that just oh. spews gold yeah that. oh my god i hear ant lions and shit that's not good i'm too close to the damn desert i there's a lot of desert underneath it oh i found a heart crystal i need this baby ropes man these ropes are gonna save my life thank god for these i got a life crystal where is my bow? Right Did I make a bow? I guess I'm not. Like already out of torches? Holy shit. Do I need to go down and fight him? Like, what the fuck? By who? There's like an ant lion blocking my path. Ooh, okay, I see a pressure plate right here. An ant lion charger. Trying to get me pressure plate? I wanna explore and get some goodies, or I don't know if I should get goodies. Holy I shit! Goodies. I just watched him charge. That was scary as shit. I should not. It's like either I can try and get some armor or I can just like rush the hell as fast as I can. I think I'm gonna try and get armor. I wanna play it safe. Yeah, I'm not going very fast, so you don't have to worry about rushing. <laughs> about the Russians. Do I gotta worry about them? Oh. Oh. Then I'm fine. Cactus sword or I can make a uh! cactus pickaxe. Uh what the fuck? Looks like Help! Faster. Oh, minus one range though. What the hell? Kinda want that then. Oh! Got a keen cactus sword. Alright, get this shit out of my inventory then. Keen? I'll just make a cactus pickaxe. Alright, I make cactus everything pretty much. You got a keen side? I mean, everything cactus. Oh, was that a trap? I couldn't even tell. Oh, I'm finding a lot of silver. If I can get silver armor, I'll be set. I'll be set. I see some uh, cream tain over there. I can't mind it though. I hope I find like a fuck ton of bombs. That's what's gonna 
That's what's gonna get me down there. There's a billion bombs. Alright. Get some of this. All this time. charger is gonna be the end of me. Oh my god. He even killed it? No, he's like. Oh, there we go. Okay. He's dead. I found another heart. He's looking up. Well, there's a bunch of uh, amethyst and stuff. I kind of want it so I can get a grappling hook so I don't fall to my death. Ooh. I have very high hopes that I'm gonna fall to my death. Yeah, that's uh. It's a good chance. It's a high chance. Very high chance. Keeping these keen eyes open. There's another chest! And it's shit! Okay. On the lookout here. I took a sunflower with me underground just for good luck. Ooh. Do I have a... No, I don't have a... Ah! Oh my god, okay. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I stepped on a pressure plate and it dropped the boulder like really far away from me. But then I... It, it was connected to an arrow trap at the same time, too. So all kind of shit just happened around me. Imagine if you just fucking died right there. Uh, that would have been sad. Very sad. This would have been a very short segment. The segment can either be pretty long or can be pretty short. Yeah. Yeah. Found a chest. Oh my god. Enchanted boomerang. Ooh. I think I'm saved. You probably just won with that. Uh, I also have a teleportation potion, which that has a chance to teleport me underground near hell. Because it teleports you to a random location on the map. Alright. But it also teleport me like fucking buttfuck nowhere. Yo, I found a heart statue too, but I don't have the... The redstone lady. Because you can connect redstone to it and it'll give you hearts. Yeah! Just get all this cobweb. I'm gonna get all, yeah, I am gonna get all, oh my god, I've fallen into hell. And when I say hell, I mean like, bad hell. Ah! Oh god. Why is there so many dudes down here? Oh, they can't touch me down here. All right, I'm fine. I'm literally just mining down. Oh, this is bad. I'm stuck, on, I'm stuck under three mother slimes right now. <laughs> on a big old cave. Like, I'm stuck underwater under three mother slimes. <laughs> this can be terrible. Right, I have to kill them all before I can submerge above water. This is terrible. I found this mushroom cave and there's like 10 bats swarming around me, so I had to fall. Bunch of assholes. I, I defeated your mother slime trap. I'm about to fuck you guys up. Yo, I'm about to have 200 health. <laughs> so oh my, what crystals. the fuck? I haven't found one. I'm at 140 right now and I found two more. Ooh, I found, uh, uh, what was it? Mushroom cave. Yeah, that's what I'm in right now. Oh, if I can get like a fucking OP. Holy yo -yo, shit, this is huge. If I can get an OP yo yo from a gecko or some shit, it's all over. I found a boomerang in a chest. It's not Take, fucking enchanted. Taking precautions right now. Trying to kill everything with my, uh, with my yo yo before I go near anything else. Yo yo's are here. OP. Oh, oh, I can make one now. <sighs> Fuck. I want to make the yo yo string. The. The uh, accessory, but I don't have enough iron to make. What's the accessory do? Makes the yo-yo string longer. Ooh, I didn't know that. The regular yo-yo sucks dick. Well, I finally made a yo-yo. At least I can defend myself. Hello, skeleton. Meet my wooden yo-yo. Got him. Is this iron? It's copper. I don't, need, I don't even want copper. I don't want to waste time with that shit. Oh, usually what I do in any playthrough, sorry, I like barely mine the first door ever. Like copper and tin, those are the worst doors. Like no point. They're so useless. Yeah, what are you gonna use them for? Oh, no, I'm gonna make armor out of them. Like, why do that when you can make armor out of fucking Wood. iron? <laughs> Cactus. I think you get three de defense from the chest plate though. Which so might be the only advantage. I'm not even I wasn't even paying attention to the floor for a second there, I kind of got scared. I thought I stepped on something. I always gotta be walking chest. the floor. Oh, the chest got some bombs in it. Uh, I got seven bombs right now. Oh, oh I, found a, I found another chest thing. Abandoned mine chef, or whatever the hell these things are called. Hey, let me see what's in here. <gasps> There's an anvil. Yes. Oh my god. Hey, I can make the, uh, why can't I place the torch? What? I can make the yo-yo string now. 
Oh my god, I got a ban of regen. Hell? I think I'm starting to get close. I just like seeing the orange. Oh, I got Hermes boots. Alright, let me drink these potions. Herpes boots. Yo, I can probably... Ooh. Actually, no, I can't. No, man. Break all this Holy shit. shit. Did you just hear that? Nope. Fucking car went by with the bass, like, blasting. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I think I'm able to make Molotovs. If I wanted to. <laughs> I don't want to. What the fuck? What the fuck? Part is the mining. Ah! I just How got squished by sand. <laughs> oh, she'll watch out. Sand's OP. I know. Hey, skeleton. I see that boulder. That boulder is like the top of the boulder. You can step on it. I think if you do that, you'll die. No, you don't die from that. Better not. Because I'm about to try it, JK. Why would I do that? Uh, I'm dropping down here. Alright, I'm starting to see lava and shit. So I think I'm pretty low now. Good. This is getting good. I ran out of torches though. It's not good. I need oh. my vision. Found a mine track. Yeah. Ride it. See where it goes. Fucking like TNT right here is bothering me. Alright. Let's, let's try this out. Hey, I got a magic mirror. I'm obviously going to use it. Oh, fuck yeah. You can use it. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't even want to pick that up. Come on. I know you want to use it. No, you know me with fucking magic mirrors too. You're probably gonna find a way to use it. Put it in your hotbar. Oh, I see spiders' oh. nest right next to me. I'm not even picking it up. It's, it's like people what the screaming fuck? outside. I know I can hear. I'm gonna go scream at them. <laughs> yeah, I did that once in a not in a recording, but I remember I was recording with Dakota. And it was like these kids fucking around outside, and I went out there. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Cause it's always like fucking like. It'll be like the most random moments ever. You just see a fucking kid screaming. I bet your neighbors love you. I was like, what the fuck is happening out there? They complained about me before, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't scream that often anymore. Oh my god, I'm in dangerous territory here. I'm in a silt block area. I can get crushed easily. Now I'm, so, I'm, I'm like close, but I'm also like far away. I know, that's me too. More bombs, please. Nope, but dynamite. I gotta use a fucking bomb here because there's crimtain in the way. I can mine around him, but it's covered in silt. I don't want to mine around it. I'm scared I'll die. Alright, drop it down, drop it down. Finding openings. You gotta find the opening. That's how you, that's how you go quick. But I, I'm barely finding openings. Is there lava all around me? There's lava all around me getting kind of scared. Yeah, I got lava. Right, I'm gonna go straight through this ore. Straight through the ore. Don't care. Ew, ew. Okay, I kind of care. Ew, I don't want copper. Disgusting. Get all this shit out of my inventory. I'm not gonna need it. I'm in hell. I'm You're in hell. hell? I'm in hell. Right. Goal is you have to find a fortress, though. Oh, okay. There's a fortress. Like, uh, I gotta still mine down, though. I'm very close to a fortune. Oh, I think... Oh, I just dropped into hell. Ah! Oh, I got this lava underneath me. Careful. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Better not die. I'm starting to fall, though. Okay, there you go. I'm very I close. found a fortress. Are you in it? No. I'm, I'm on deep. top of it. I just got to mine in. I'm in it now. No, I was like right here. Hey. <laughs> All right. I must consider that a tie because, you know... Uh, now nah, Ryan, Ryan couldn't win that one. I was Turn very, it. I was very close because of, I started using fucking ropes instead of uh, instead of blocks to get to it. Jesus Christ, these bats take like 15 hits to kill. What the fuck? All right, we'll be moving on to the next segment. Boom, bada, bing. It's story time, Ryan. It, oh, that's what. Okay, it's story time, Ryan. R we're going Cody? to hell. Off oh, in the background, we're going to hell to go. Oh, we're going to hell. Mine that shit for you for the playthrough. And also, oh, okay. I need to mine it too for my minions. So, 
Uh, who went first last time in stories? Was it me? I think it was me. Hmm. You went first <coughs> last time. So you should go first this time. I I will go first this time. Um. So, as you know, Cody, I I know myself. Yeah. Two p.m. Eastern Standard Time, August twentieth. That schedule that is set. I went on the website just to check, and I'm like, huh. Well, I'm talking to my mom, and she's like, you think they have any other openings that are, like, early? Now, keep in mind, I uh, I scheduled this a month and a half ago, and that was the earliest opening anywhere, so I have to drive, like, four hours just to... Because the next earliest opening would have been uh, the 28th of August, which I'm not about that. So... I'm going to have to end up driving three hours to um, Auburn, but, you know, it's no big deal. So, oh, pff, that was close. That's um, gas money, though. Yeah, but I don't really care. I'd rather have my license um, a week earlier. That's than no. The next earliest is Ithaca, and that's an hour, so it doesn't matter. But, so yeah, I have this all scheduled, and I, it's all set, and I'm, like, ready to go. And uh, my mom's like, you, you think they have any other openings? I'm like, probably not. She's like, aren't you curious? And I'm like, no, not really. I don't want to. I don't care. She's like, I I think you should just. And now I went to check if they had any other openings. And the only way to look, like as soon as you schedule your th appointment, that's it. You can't look at that website ever again unless you cancel your appointment. You go to log on and it's like. This is your time. Would you like to cancel? And you're like, no. And they're like, okay. And then it's like, view appointments. And it says, you have an appointment. You must cancel before viewing. So, needless to say, I was like, no, I'm not going to cancel it. I have a good date already. My mom was like, no. No, you should check. Bitch, it's my license. You should check. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'll check because I'm kind of curious. So, cancel my appointment. You're not curious. She got you, kid. Yeah. Basically, so I cancel my appointment and I go to check and uh, I, oh my God, that's a big worm. Um, I open it up and I go to like, you know, create a new appointment and oh, 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 change something. I don't know what that was. I go to create a new appointment and I go straight to Auburn and because that's where, you know, I had it originally scheduled straight to Auburn in the earliest appointment was uh september 17th in auburn oh i died what the fuck um so i'm sitting there and i'm like uh wait a sec i know i had a august appointment so why is there not any august appointments here so uh i keep hitting refresh and refresh and nothing all it is is like September 17th and like appointments are getting taken up as I hit refresh. So it's like September 17th, 10 a.m. Hit refresh. September 17th, 12 p.m. And I'm like, wait, wait a second. What's going on here? Did somebody already take my appointment? And I'm like flipping the fuck out. So I call them and there's like I go through all these like these button pushings because it's automated. And they're like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, transfer you to uh, fucking whatever. I'm like, OK. And uh, 30 minute, well, 20, 25 minutes later, I'm like, okay, they're playing the, first of all, they played the same song over and over again while I was on hold, and it was obnoxious, and I could not take it anymore, and they're like, would you like to uh, keep your spot in the queue and just, like, set a callback time, and we'll call you back? And I'm like, all right, sure, I'll do that. Um, the time of calling was about, like, at this time, it was 2 p.m., I'm like, all right, I'll just do that. So I'm like trying to go through all these stupid buttons and it's really confusing. They're like, would you like to set your time? And I'm like, I thought they were just going to call me when it was available, but okay. So I set my time. It was two o'clock then. And I pressed, it's like, please enter the time you would like us to call. So I put in 2.30 and it's like, okay, we will be calling you at 12.30 PM. Thank you. And they hung up and I'm like, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. It's two. That means they won't call me till tomorrow. <laughs> so I called back again. And I told this dude, I'm like, listen, I did. I accidentally canceled my appointment. Is there any way we can recover it? Oh, yeah, I'll transfer you to, you know, Joe. 
Like Joe is his actual name too. Like it's that's not just like a stereotypical name. I'm saying. For you to myself. Joe was the person he transferred me to. And I'm like, all right. When did you said he's gonna transfer you, and then he like picks up the phone, like, hey, you're talking to Joe now. <laughs> Same exact person. <laughs> I I would be mad. Um. So yeah, he transfers me, and I am on hold with the same song playing in my ear for 55 minutes. Mm. And the song was like this really obnoxious tropical song with uh, steel drums. And it's like... <laughs> it's like a minute and a half song, and they never changed the song. <laughs> a minute and a half song for 55 minutes on repeat with like a commercial in between saying, you can... Uh, leave your number and give us a time to call you back and we will call you back. Oh yeah, by the way, I never got that call at 12.30. Typical. Like, they were supposed to call me back at 12.30 p.m. and I never got the call. So, uh, if I hadn't gone on hold for the next 55 minutes, I wouldn't have gotten it. Um, so I get transferred to Joe and I'm like, hey, uh, blah, blah, blah. Can you fix it? He's like, yeah, um... I think, uh, let me just call, who's it called? I, I honestly don't know who their name was. Joe. Let me just call them, and, well, it, no, they're like, oh, you're based in Syracuse, right? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, well, let me call the Syracuse department, uh, talk to them about if they can fix this, and uh, I'll call you right back. I have to put you on hold. Oh. <laughs> so I sat on hold, and it was another, like, it was only, like, four minutes. But I was sitting there, and uh, he called me back. He's like, yep, they can uh, fix it. You you know, usually within an hour or two, they can fix it. So you're all set. You have your appointment back. Some people have called me, like, four weeks post, canceling it, and they want to get it back. And I'm like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, somebody called me and said, hey, I canceled my appointment. Can I get it back? And I'm like, yeah, when did you cancel it? And they said about four weeks ago. <laughs> it's like... No, you can't get it back. So long story short, I got it back after a total of an hour and a half on hold. So, happy days. Happy days, I guess. There's my story. Very intriguing. Uh, typical, though, of, uh, what's it called, like, people on phones and shit like that. Service. What's that called? What's the word I'm looking for here? We are? Yeah. Uh, but, so I got stories here from middle school. Which wasn't Ooh. really that long ago. Well, it doesn't feel like that long ago. I think it's been like five years. Maybe less than that. Just kidding, it's only been like three. Uh, so. First day, well, the middle school I went to, it was, I think it was uh, sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. Uh -huh. I think this was my 7th grade year, and we were, it was the PE teachers, and they were, like, introducing us and telling us what PE teacher we'll be with and stuff like that. And uh, me and my friends, we all meet up. We all sit next to each other because I'm pretty sure we all got the same class. And, uh, sitting there, and then our PE teacher, he was, he was talking about, uh, talking about something. Oh, yeah. Something about, uh, laundry. And, uh, me and my friend, then he started talking about some other thing about laundry and then he said something stupid and then this kid like raised their hand and then he said something extremely stupid me and my friend started laughing about it and we're talking about it and then he looks at us he's like what are you guys laughing about over there and he looks at me i'm the one my friends they don't know what to say and i'm just like oh we're talking about laundry <laughs> and he's like what <laughs> well at least you're on subject <laughs> and i'm like yeah at least we're on subject and then a couple of minutes later he was like what kind of music do you guys listen to uh, at this age? And some kid, I don't even, I didn't even know this was a genre of music. I thought it was something really stupid. And this kid goes, Screamo. <laughs> do you know what that is? Yeah, they just scream. Yeah. You didn't know that was a genre? <laughs> I, did not, I was in seventh grade. I didn't give a fuck. It's the worst thing in the world. I can't and stand it. They said it. that. <laughs> Me and my friends, we just started dying because we're like, what the fuck is Screamo? And then the PE teacher looked at us again. He's like, what are you guys laughing at? We're like, uh... This time we we're talking didn't have about, anything to... We're talk talking about, about laundry still. <laughs> we didn't have anything to say this time. And he was like, uh, well, what the heck do you guys listen to? And then my friends were like, uh... 
listen to her. And then one of my friends, I don't know. Opera. He, he goes, scream off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I don't even know what that is. And then it went on the rest of the day. Well, I have a bunch of more stories from middle school. It's like the middle school uh, crazy story. This one, I still did a bunch of stupid shit. Now, if I do stupid shit, I'm probably going to get like fucking sent away to Touch. Africa or some shit. That too. Uh, but there was this one time, my friend, there was like, we were outside during lunchtime. Uh-huh. And there is these, uh, there's like this wall and it had like this like clay part on a wall. And uh, what happened was my friends, they started like picking at the clay. I was like, look at this shit. I'm like, I don't really fucking care about it. I think I did it once. So I'm like, I didn't actually peel the clay off of the wall. Or I don't even know what it was. It was like adhesive or some shit. And then one of my friends, he started doing it. And he started throwing it at the cars, the teacher's cars. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then the fucking, like, this teacher I didn't even know works there. Like, an art teacher. I'm like, what the fuck? They have art at this school? I didn't know that. She comes around the corner and uh, sees him throwing it. And she's like, come with me. Instantly. <laughs> So he gets pulled away. The next day, I didn't. Re- I said, remember this keyword. I didn't do anything. I think I like touched it a little bit, and I was like, "Oh, this feels weird." And then uh, next day, I get called into the vice principal office, and they're like, "Oh, your friend said uh, you did stuff with them." And since I was younger, I was like, "What the fuck? I don't know what to say here." Like I should easily just been like, "No, I didn't do it. Uh, I wasn't a part of it at all." But I, don't know, I was stupid. So then. Uh, I had to come into lunch detention the next day after that with another friend that my friend snitched on. I was like, why the fuck am I here? I'm not even supposed to be here. <laughs> the next thing I know, there's like 10 people in there. I'm like, what the fuck? These Asshole. people <laughs> These people aren't even a part of this shit. And I think there was a couple of people in there that did something else that actually did some legit stupid shit. He just wanted to take someone but, <laughs> down with him. It was so like, stupid. I'm not going down alone. It's so stupid, like, the reason why you got taken in is like, oh, yeah, I've been picking at this clay on the wall. And, uh, you're gonna have to spend, I think he spent, like, the four days in lunch detention because of that. I'm like, damn, it's a little bit overboard. It's like, well, you're vandalizing the property. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? All right, so oh my here, God. Comes, here comes another, here comes another thing. I got arrested once because <laughs> of that. I almost that's got a, arrested once. That's a different story, though. Here, Ryan, I got something for you. I don't know if you have it yet. It's damaged, though. <laughs> Oh, is that the hell yo-yo? Yeah. Hell yeah. Have you been mining the hellstone? Cause I no. have a fuck ton of it. I just need to make like two things from it and then I'll give you the rest. So, we got another story. This is when I was even young. These stories are mostly short. Oh shit, I've been throwing these. Uh, so, I lived in Illinois. Mm. I don't remember exact street and shit like that. I lived there and... Uh, I remember this one time, me and my friend, his name was Ramon, me and him, we're fucking around outside. We weren't doing anything crazy. But then this one time, we picked up these rocks in someone's yard. And I didn't know they were like decorative rocks either. They're like little pebbles. And we started throwing them at each other. <laughs> and then this oh, lady uh, came out, she didn't even own the house, she came out and she's like, Are those your rocks? And she was like an old, like, look like a lesbian ass lady. I ain't trying mm-hmm. to offend anyone, but it was true. Uh... And she was like, are those your rocks? And I'm like, uh, this is when I was really young. I was like, what the fuck? Is, it, is she trying hey, to Hey, yeah, now I have a superior cascade. I was like, is this bitch trying to communicate with us? And then she, my mom, because we had a balcony. My mom's room uh, had the balcony, had the only balcony of the house. Uh-huh. And the lady, like, saw my mom up there. And she's like, hey, you, are you his mother? Well, before that, before she did that, she's like, where do you guys live? And I'm like, oh, I live right here. Ramon's like, oh, I live down the street. And, uh, Ramon. Fucking, I started, like, before where she told us, like, called us about the rocks, like, hey, those are your rocks. I started creeping away slowly. <laughs> and she said, Where are you going, chicken? And I'm like, Wait a minute. <laughs> Bitches called me chicken. I turned around right away. I'm like, Nah, I'm here. I'm here. I ain't trying to get away or anything. And then my mom comes out and she's like, Is this your son? She's like, Yeah. Well, he's been throwing rocks. She tried to make it, like, the most, like, deceiving story ever. I'm like, What the fuck? I don't even remember doing that. Since I'm a little kid, no one would believe me, so I just, like, just took all of it in the ass, pretty much. Ooh. And then, uh, I was like, oh my god, this is some dumb shit. So I got in trouble for that, but then, I give it, like, a month later, two months later, bitch, same bitch. This time she had a friend. Me and my friend, alright, this is the dumbest shit ever, I think she just hated us after that moment. But we were walking around a sign. Uh Uh-huh. 
just like walking in a circle around the sign. I don't know why. And uh, this, this bitch said, are you trying to unscrew that sign from the fucking floor? And I'm like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> We're walking around the sign. She, we didn't get in trouble that time from like my mom or anything or our parents. But that bitch was so ignorant. I don't even know why. She was like, didn't she have better, anything better to do? Like she was with her friend. And, Go eat her ass or some shit. Leave us alone. 